Hey everyone, welcome to episode of Elder Speedio 4. Um gonna be in some 2011 uh, Crown Vic. Um link in the description. Um this is from a um PC SO pack and uh, using this um Snero pre server that I've made um snap release and um uh, yeah so let me go ahead and change the plate real quick. So it's not on that uh, default four six Edward Edward King, you know five seven two. So I'm gonna change it to the nails real quick. There we go. So now I've changed the plate. So say if this is the Twins of the Crown Vic, um here are the lights, so stage one, see me your um, TAs or your um, traffic advisors going from right to left. Stage two, you see your um, traffic advisors, and I got some red and blues on the light bar, as well as a push bar as well on the front dash, and also you got the reverse um, red rags as well. And stage three is everything. You got the red and blues in the dash, got your reverse and your brake light uh, wind wax right there. You also got your red wax in the front as well. And yeah, um, the sum I'm using is a photo single PA640. Um, same as the inner horn. And it just comes with red and blue um, stay burns or cruiser lights. It also comes with um, takedowns as well. So, um, but yeah, so it's gonna be out here in the Sonora areas since we are the Sonora police. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'm um, 53. Can you show me a uh, 10 8? So we're going to go ahead and see what stuff we get into, and um, yeah. 5 3, can you me out to that call? So right now I got a person that shots fired to respond to, so... Um, and same as we make contact with the witness. Now, half of times, what these kind of call outs, you don't know if the witness is actually telling you the truth or the witness is actually trying to call you so they can just, you know, make a, make a complaint about it and then it's just want to kill you. So, uh, fight to make me on scene. Roger. Hey, my man's um, Officer Michael with the Officer of Police. Hey, what's going on here? I heard a loud bang sound a few minutes ago. I'm so scared. What kind of a bang sound was it? I think it was the sound of fire alarm being discharged, I'm pretty sure. Fine then, please stay in your house. We handle this. Oh, you know, dude. Five to get, get shots for up to shots for by police. We are code four. Suspect neutralized. No further units required. Five to oh shit. Five three. We got shots for up police shots for by police. Gonna be on Route 68. Uh in north on that dirt road. See what I mean? It's like it's, it's like you respond to each one of the call outs. And you think that the witness is telling you that the actual it's like telling you the actual the, the actual description, but yeah, 
they were the ones doing it this way that they can call you and try to shoot you. So I think that's what we did was I think he was just shooting his own gun, his own property, and decided to call the police so that they can respond and you know kill you know me or whatever. So but anyways, I'm gonna switch about it real quick, so as we go for corner, so required in Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, yeah. Because, you know, I thought, you know, he would, you know, tell me the actual description, but instead he actually did it on me, so. I mean, sometimes we can get a shot for a call, complaint, sometimes it could be from, sometimes it could be from witness themselves, because they could be the ones doing it and decided to call so that you know they can try and you know and kill the police whatever so but fortunately he's down so don't worry about him anymore but anyways 5-3 can you make it for a last call it's gonna be um 10 8 available it's gonna involve a uh, shots fired between the witness and the police or officer alright so 10-4 Anyways, we're gonna get back out there and um, we're gonna see what else we can until. 5 3, can you see me a route? Alright, so right now we're around to a part of a um, mental disorder off of a uh, senior freeway, so I'm hitting it there, so. Five three can you me on scene. I'm looking for the witness. Roger. Alright, so going for the witness, I'll talk with them, you know, see if then anything is going over here. So oh, right there. Alright. Hello, Officer Michael with the uh, Sonora Police. Hello, did you get on one? Yes, that's me. I'm so scared. See a girl from next door wondering with a gun. Did she hurt you? No, but I think she has PTSD. I'm afraid she would hurt someone. Uh, come down to the fire stand side. No, you don't. Drop the gun, ma'am. Drop that gun. Drop it. Drop that gun. Drop that gun, ma'am. Drop it. Five three got one at Taser Point. We're gonna be on Snore Freeway off on the um, trailer park. You looking that I ran looking that I ran out of ammo that I didn't have to shoot you down. Suspect in custody. No further units required. Alright. Jesus, this the second time I was I almost been attacked. Come on, really? Like the first one was a complaint of a child's fire. This one can really complain about someone having a mental disorder. But yeah, she put a gun on me, so that was two times I almost been attacked this episode. But come on, really now? And she is so lucky that I ran out of ammo. Because if I didn't, I would have just saw her real good. So. Alright. 5-3, uh, requesting a female unit to my location. 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, I get a few million of here. Assistance needed in run alternate wind farm. Yeah, so can we hear you know how like a plane of a you know, someone with a uh with a uh, mental disorder then she told me that she saw someone, you know, one day around with a gun. I was like, okay, maybe I'm a first person. But instead she walks around and pulls a freaking gun on me you know, shooting at something that's out of her to get her attention but she's lucky that I didn't shut her down all the way so but anyways she's gonna pat her down so look at that back of the crystal is a metal versus spoon with my pad reason do So, I'm not gonna do the charges real quick, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, the um, sobriety test and the breath test to do at the uh, station. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this real quick. So, it is going to be for assault the firearm. Um, also for, and it also for an, um, I'm giving an assault a firearm. Um, also, it's gonna be for. That's pretty much it for now. Um, Alright, um, wouldn't it be. Um, aggravated assault on the firearm towards law enforcement as well. I'm not sure, but I mean, I know she's aiming. A different direction, but I could say that she could, you know, aim at aim at me, aim at me as well. Um, also, it's gonna be for um, where would a false nine one call be at? Same thing I had to do with false number one call. <laughs> um, same thing here that says anything to do with a false number one false complaint. Huh. Oh well. Anyway, so it's really good for now, so. It's gonna be 8 years in prison, 4 downs right there, so. Alright, uh, 5 3 can get transport unit for one custody. So, like I said, um, they are gonna do the uh, separate test as well as the breath test. Um, back at the station so anyway excuse me custody so I mean I would charge you for a false call as well but I couldn't find it in the system so however whatever it be so anyways 5 3 can you clear off going in custody gonna be uh 10 a.m. available 10 4 
five to look into me around to my call. Units, code two. So written on me around to port of a um, suspicious part of the vehicle. It's gonna be a white uh, strata, so um hopefully it's not like the last time we're recording you know, two people have you know what in the vehicle so or hopefully that's not someone with a gun in there uh, you know so he's going slow don't know why but they're going slow so Alright, five three teach me on scene. I'm looking for that white uh stratum. Roger. Five three of eyes on that vehicle. They're gonna be by the um this uh like um disc. I'm gonna go ahead and um make contact with the vehicle. Occupy times one. For me, an unconscious uh, female victim. Hey, okay. You're asleep or something? Five three. It's gonna be a black male. Um, it's gonna be a black male. Gonna be on no, be unresponsive. Um, requesting a medical to my location. Required in Grande Sonora Desert. All right, so right now, um, Ambrose gave me a route, so and we came here for a suspicious part vehicle. We came here and we found someone that's unconscious, so. Yeah, so we came, so we came here, and uh, he was, you know, unconscious. So, all right, spear failed. All right. Alright, five three question your corner to my location. Um Zippy has failed to revive um the suspect. Alright. So they said that it was shot by a handgun, but we don't know that for sure, so right now gonna have corner round and we're gonna touch the body. You know because he could have been under some type of um substance. That made him pass down. Is there a few tablets plus container? So what? What? So whatever was in that few um tablets and um plastic container. Uh, there's the end there that could have been passed out. So, but anyways, we're gonna have the corner come on scene over here. So.
you know, so, I mean, you know, what possibly happened, like I said, you know, it could be the, you know, the substance that he had on him, the man passed out, so, but, you know, corner, I'm going to take him in and turn him to, um, examine the body, so, and, uh, yeah, so, anyways, 5 3 crossing a flat bit of location. In Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, now we're gonna have the vehicle get towed um, over to a station to get investigated. So, and uh, anyways, 53 can you off for that call? Gonna be um, 10 and available. 10 4. So, I mean, normally it would be you know, two people have you know what in the car, or it could be you know, one guy just doing something weird, awkward. So, but I mean, he was just passed out. So, but anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back on patrol, and we'll see what's going into. Five three can me a route to that uh, pursuit. Roger. Um, of course, the air support as well. Helicopter assistance required in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. All right, so right now we are around the port of a pursuit going on. It's gonna be a uh, Grand of Auto. So, and air support should be a route. So, five three eyes on a vehicle. I'm heading south on Joshua Road. We're not going to enter in Snow Road, at least southeast. It is going to be. We've got him going east. Uh, vehicle is it's going to be a Phoenix eight eight John Young Nora nine four six. I'll say warrant on the owner. Occupy times one, I believe. Uh, traffic light, Rosa Drive, weather is clear. I'm um, swimming for a uh, Theft Auto. Uh, speeds are spe uh, speeds are on uh, at this time. We're gonna hang southeast on Snow Road still. We are still south on Snow Road. But we are still continuing south on Snow Road. A uh, vehicle is going to be trying to get this. Let's get the occupants real quick. Occupy times one would seem to like. As of right now. Um, stand by for updates. Uh, we're gonna hang southwest on Elgin Avenue. We're still southwest on Elgin Avenue. Dispatch, we got eyes, we're in pursuit. Dispatch, perfect sight. Now just to make a right onto Spanish Avenue. We're now northwest on uh, Spanish Avenue. We are still northwest on Spanish Avenue. We are still on Spanish Avenue heading northwest. We're heading west on Spanish Avenue.
we are still west on to um, Spanish Avenue. I uh, just made it right onto North Rockford Drive. Heading north on Rockford Drive. Just made a left onto West Ecos Boulevard. Heading west. We're now on Dunstable Drive. Heading northwest on the Dunstable Drive. Just made a left onto Picture Perfect Drive. Heading west onto Picture Perfect onto Picture Perfect Drive. We're still southwest onto Picture Perfect Drive, passing the school. We're now making a right. Onto North Rockford Drive, heading northwest of the North Rockford Drive. We are still on North on North Rockford Drive. We just now passed the Los Santos County um, Metro border. We are northeast on North Rockford Drive. Gonna be trying to cross records real quick. Occupy times two mills. We're now gonna be on um, Tomba Drive and northeast onto Tomba Drive. We're now heading north onto Tomba Drive. Oh, suspect just rear end behind a sand cane. We're still northeast on Tomba Drive. Right, we're still gonna be on on Tomba Drive, heading east on the Tomba Drive. We are now entering Tomba Drive still. No, we're now on Zakudo. Veronica heading northeast on Zucudo Veronica. Just we're in the Nursing King. We are still heading southeast on Zucudo Veronica. And we don't air support have eyes on a vehicle as of right now, so. Your support has eyes on a vehicle, so I'm going to try and um, catch up uh, to them. So, all right, five three. I'm eyes on that uh, vehicle right now. We're going to be heading south. Oh. We're heading south on North Shelton Avenue. Now southwest on North Shelton Avenue. We're now west on North Shelton Avenue. We're still southwest on North Shell Avenue. Then just made a right onto um, Ace Joan Rose Drive. Heading southwest on the Ace Joan um, Drive. We're gonna hang northwest on Ace Jones Drive. Alright, 
Isopor has eyes on him still, or on them still. So. May I right back onto North Rockford Drive, heading northeast. Then we're on Tumble Drive and North on Tumble Drive. Northwest on now east on Tumble Drive. I got perfect clear over here. Now southeast on Zincudo Baranica. Right back onto Mount Vinewood Drive, heading southwest. We're still on Mount Vinewood Drive, heading east. Just we're in the NG Ranger. Okay, hood just came off. Five three suspect just lost the hood. We are southwest of my on Mount Vinewood Drive. Going to be south on North Sheldon Avenue. We are west on no northwest on North Sheldon Avenue. We are now southwest on North Sheldon Avenue. We're still south on North Sheldon Avenue. We're now east on Man Wayne Thunder Drive. We're south on Man Wayne, Man Wayne Thunder Drive. We're now southeast on Man Wayne Thunder Drive. We are still southeast on Man Wayne Thunder Drive. Nope, we are still. Let me uh, southwest on Heritage Way. We're now making a right onto Movie Star Way, heading northwest. Now, main another right, heading onto Marathon Avenue. Heading northeast on the Marathon Avenue. I just made a right onto Dorset Drive heading southeast. We're still on uh, Dorset Drive heading southeast. We're still east on Dorset Drive.
We're now northeast on Las uh, Langues Boulevard, and I'm making a right. Nope, make another right. We are now on to South Alta Street. Southwest onto Alta Street. We are still south on Alta Street. We are south and west on Alto Street. Five to make particular um secondary. Five three so just just made a right onto uh, Davis Avenue and Southwest. Out of the car right now, out of vehicle. Hands up in the air. Hey, the Five three on gonna be west on Davis Avenue, King Show two in custody. So right now, since we're not in jurisdiction, I'm gonna go ahead and have the um, the LSPD take care of them. So, uh, five three, cause in transport for like five times two in custody. Gonna be on Davis Avenue on the highway heading towards the airport. Assistance required in. Uh, and I'm gonna get a you know a flapper as well. So. Assistance required in uh, South Korea. I mean, for right now, I'm not going to do anything with them because you know I'm not in jurisdiction, so I'm gonna have the, uh, the LSPD take care of them. And uh, yeah, so anyways, 5 3 can you take for that pursuit? Give me time soon, custody. Gonna be 10 um, 8. Five to the kitchen, me at ten seven. Roger that. All right, so that will be it for this episode. Um, if you enjoy, make sure to like, comment down below, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.